queers and queerocracy, to demand a financial speculation tax. We're here to fist Wall Street. We demand that they give a financial speculation tax, a Robin Hood tax, that would raise $350 billion annually, every single year in the United States, that could actually end the AIDS pandemic, create the largest domestic jobs program that any of us have ever imagined, and fight climate change. We could provide health care to everyone in this country who needs it. All, right now, that money is lining the pockets of rich bankers that we've bailed out that created the financial crisis. We need that money to save our government, to save our country, and to end the AIDS pandemic. We now know that we can end AIDS. We just need the resources to do it. And Wall Street has those resources. This tiny, tiny tax of less than half a penny could actually end the AIDS pandemic, raise $350 billion. Fed Up Queers and Queerocracy are doing the first action of what I hope is a day of actions and mobilizations. This is ACT UP's 25th anniversary, and we're here to say that the AIDS crisis is not over, but it actually could be if, if corporate greed would stand aside and stop buying political inaction, and if Wall Street would give us the money that we need to actually get 15 million people on treatment by 2015. And why are you dressed as Robin Hood, and why are you concerned about AIDS? So we're dressed up as Robin Hood today because um, the financial speculation tax that we're calling for is also commonly known as the Robin Hood tax and there's actually a global campaign that's about to kick off and it's called the Robin Hood tax campaign. Um, so it's in solidarity with that and because we're demanding the same the same tax. I think that a lot of, of particularly young people don't realize um, that HIV is, is still an extremely urgent issue and particularly in the lives of young people, um, long LGBT Q people um, and and many others. Uh, so for me, it's something that I recognize as being an extremely important part of my generation as well. Tax Wall Street and AIDS. Act up. 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 Stand aside, Wall Street. Stand because this epidemic has gone on 30 years too long and we know that there we know that there is prevention and we know that there is treatment and you know this is all still going on because there's so much Wall Street greed corporations aren't paying their fair share and this means people are dying um, so we will be out here as long as we can and we will be back uh, if we don't get what we want Michael, you okay? There's no need to be rough, of course. He's just laying there. All such arrests in these parlous times are heroic, absolutely essential, particularly as they curtail the democracy in the streets, and that is the only place we find it today, as it's no longer in the halls of legislators, legislatures. And can you identify yourself? Pardon? And your name? Robert. Robert. Okay. And you're just here observing? I'm a neighbor. I live down the block. And I find it most glorious to awake, walk down the street, and see these brave participatory Democrats in the street 
for all of us. My name is Eric Sawyer. I'm one of the founders of ACT UP New York. I also work for UN AIDS. I'm here today to sound the alarm that the AIDS crisis is not over, that we uh, have a funding gap of more than $8 billion uh, today uh, to fund the HIV epidemic. We need to have 15 billion people on treatment right now, and there's only between six and seven billion. So this perception that the AIDS crisis is under control uh, is a false one. Uh, we're here to call for a new innovative, sustainable funding mechanism to fund global health, uh, clean energy, the environment, and, and a the global HIV response, but also funds that could be used for the local AIDS response. Uh, by using a financial transaction tax. That financial transaction tax would put a small fee like 0.005% on Wall Street transactions, stock trades, bond trades, and that money would then be used to fuel uh, social justice issues, public goods, uh, things like affordable medicines. We need this tax now. It's already, there are already taxes that like this in effect in 47 countries and uh, there's no reason why there isn't one specifically for these social justice issues. Hi, my name is Annette Gaudino and I'm with Healthcare for the 99%, a working group of Occupy Wall Street. And Occupy Wall Street is here because Wall Street is occupying healthcare. We're here working in solidarity with ACT UP to demand a financial speculation tax on Wall Street transactions. Such a tax could potentially raise $400 billion a year. That's more than enough money to fully fund the global fund to fight uh, AIDS, TB, and malaria. We could turn this financial crisis, this global financial crisis, into an opportunity for the world. And that's why we're here. Registered nurse, my name is Sam Aldi. And uh, I work with an, an associate director in an area hospital for the National Nurses United. I work at the Manhattan VA Medical Center. <laughs> I take care of our veterans and heroes. Um, I'm here today because there's a health care crisis going on. I believe the corporations are profiting from sick people. And what we need to do, and we need to do it very quickly, is to start taxing transactions on Wall Street, hedge funds, and corporations, a financial tax, very small percent. This is not a new thing. This is something that's going on in Europe and it's working very well. Right now, the corporations are taking billions of dollars out of profiting of sick people. My name is Douglas Sanders. I'm from Housing Works Inc. Uh, we're here today to call on uh, Mayor Bloomberg and Commissioner Doerr and Speaker Quinn to pass legislation for HASA for All and to uh, end the budget cuts that they're trying to impose. Um, the, the mayor has is, is single-handedly tried to, um, tried to uh, uh, cut services for people with HIV and AIDS uh, and he wants them to get so sick that they, they can't work uh, before they can actually get some help. So we, we're here today to, uh, to tell him that we just can't stand for that. Where are you here? I'm here representing Housing Works to let the world and the city and the state know that people with AIDS need housing. And that's what saves lives. And the city's not recognizing that. Saves lives. Housing saves lives. Housing saves lives. Housing saves lives. Housing saves lives. We want housing for HIV and AIDS. What's your name and why are you here? Um, my name is Andrew Comey, Chief Financial Officer for Housing Works. And I'm here on behalf of ACT UP's 25th anniversary, and we're here to say that AIDS epidemic is still not over and that housing saves lives. And what do you think about the call for financial transaction tax on Wall Street? Oh, I think that financial transaction tax is a brilliant idea. The rich continue to get richer while services get cut to New York City's most vulnerable populations, homeless people with AIDS and HIV and other people with chronic disabilities. We're here today to mark the 25th anniversary of ACT UP and to remind the people in power that we're going to keep fighting until AIDS is over. It's been 25 years and the services are, are that ACT UP fought for and that Housing Works fought for 
Um, they're getting cut little by little by our city administration and we really think that they need to pay attention to the epidemic. It's not over. We need to tax the rich and stop cutting services for the poor. Um, sure. What's your name and why are you here? My name is Naima and we're here today to celebrate the 25th anniversary of ACT UP. Uh, we still need funding for, for the AIDS crisis where our funding is continuously getting cut. We need funding for syringe exchange, we need housing, we just, we need the mayor, we need everyone to listen to us because the AIDS crisis is still here and we're here to fight back.